Welcome to my YouTube channel. Learn at ease. In this video I will discuss a topic in biochemistry. Biomolecules, carbohydrates. Part 3. Reactions and derivatives of monosaccharides. In this video I will explain six reactions of monosaccharides, which are Muterotation, glycoside formation, oxidation, reduction, epimerization and esterification. Along with, I will also explain sugar derivatives, which are, amino sugar and deoxy sugar. Let's start with first reaction of monosaccharides that is, muterotation. Early carbohydrate chemists frequently observed that the optical rotation of glucose, and other sugar, solutions could change with time, and termed this process as muterotation. It was eventually found that alpha-D-glucopyranose has a specific optical rotation, alpha D20, of plus 112.2 degrees, and, beta D glucopyranose has a specific optical rotation equals to plus 18.7 degrees. The shows the structure of alpha D glucopyranose and beta D glucopyranose mentioning their specific optical rotation. Muterotation involves interconversion of anomeric forms of the monosaccharide, shown in the image by red arrows. At equilibrium the mixture contains 63% of beta-anomer, it is more stable than alpha-anomer, 36% of alpha-anomer, and, 1% of open chain form. This equilibrium specific optical rotation of the solution is plus 52.7 degrees. Carefully see the image for better understanding. Now, I will portray second reaction, that is, glycoside formation. When the anomeric OH group of a sugar reacts with an alcohol, with elimination of water, it yields an O-glycoside, in the case shown, alpha, methyl glucoside. The reaction yielding O-glycoside bond is shown in the right, the reaction shows alpha-D-glucopyranose hen reacts with ethanol, yields, alpha-D-methyl glucoside, with a release of water molecule. The glycosidic bond is not a normal ether bond, because the OH group at C1 has a hemiacetal quality. Oligosaccharides and polysaccharides also contain O-glycosidic bonds. The image on the right shows the O-glycosidic bond formed with arrow. Reaction of the anomeric OH group with an NH2 or NH group yields an N-glycoside, not shown. N-glycosidic bonds occur in nucleotides and in glycoproteins. I will now explain, the third reaction of carbohydrates, that is, oxidation. Oxidation of the aldehyde group at C1 gives the intramolecular ester known as lactone of gluconic acid, this lactone is termed known as gluconolactone. The image below shows the oxidation of beta glucopyranose at C1 position yielding, gluconolactone, carefully see this represented structures to understand the reaction. When glucose is oxidized at C6, glucuronic acid, which is a glucuronic acid, is formed. In the image, another reaction is shown where C6 of beta glucopyranose is oxidized to give glucuronic acid, carefully see this represented structures to understand the reaction. Phosphorylated gluconolactone is an intermediate of the pentose phosphate pathway. The strongly polar glucuronic acid plays an important role in biotransformations in the liver. Oxidation of glucopyranose can occur at C1 and C6 of a same molecule together, that yields, alderic acids, such as D-glucuric acid. The reaction below shows the oxidation of beta-D-glucopyranose at C1 and C6 positions to yield D-glucaric acid, which has an open chain structure. Sugars with free anomeric carbon atoms are good reducing agents and reduce hydrogen peroxide ferrocyanide, certain metals, such as copper and silver, and other oxidizing agents. Such reactions convert the sugar to a sugar acid. For example, addition of alkaline copper sulfate, called felling solution, to an aldose sugar produces a red cuprous oxide precipitate and converts the aldose to an aldonic acid, such as gluconic acid. Carbohydrates that can reduce oxidizing agents in this way are referred to as reducing sugars. Now, I will explain fourth reaction that is reduction. The image of beta-D glucopyranose is shown below. 
Reduction of the anomeric center at C1 of glucose produce the sugar alcohol sorbitol. Sugar alcohols, or aldetols, are designated by the addition of itol to the name of the parent sugar. The aldetols are linear molecules that cannot cyclize in the manner of aldoses. Sorbitol, mannitol, and xylitol are widely used to sweeten sugarless gum and mints. Sorbitol buildup in the eyes of diabetics is implicated in cataract formation. In the image, anomeric carbon is shown with an arrow, reduction at C1, that is the anomeric carbon yields, sorbitol, which has an open chain structure, carefully see this represented structures to understand the reaction. Few example of sugar acids is shown in the image, the sugar acids represented are, glucitol, mannitol, xylitol, glycerol, myoinositol and ribitol. Glycerol and myo inositol, a cyclic alcohol, are components of lipids. There are nine different stereoisomers of inositol. Myoinositol was first isolated from heart muscle and thus has the prefix myo for muscle. Ribitol is a constituent of flavin coenzymes. Now, I shall explain the fifth reaction of monosaccharides, that is, epimerization. In weakly alkaline solutions, Glucose is in equilibrium with the ketohexose defructose and the aldohexose demanose, via an enediol intermediate. In the reaction represented below, shows the conversion of alpha deglucopyranose to alpha demanopyranose and alpha defructopyranose. Pairs of sugars of this type are referred to as epimers, and their interconversion is called epimerization. The important concept to remember here is that, ketohexoses, can exist in cyclic pyranose form, but then it quickly gets converted to cyclic furanose form, that is the reason why the cyclic fructose in this case exists as alpha defructopyranose, which is a six-membered cyclic ring, which then gets converted to alpha defructofuranose, which is a five-membered cyclic ring. Now, I will explain sixth and the last reaction of monosaccharides, that is, Esterification. The hydroxyl groups of monosaccharides can form esters with acids. In metabolism, phosphoric acid esters such as glucose 6-phosphate and glucose 1-phosphate are particularly important. The following reaction shows beta deglucopyranose reacts with phosphoric acid, yields glucose 6-phosphate, if esterification occurs at C6 position, or yields glucose 1-phosphate if, if esterification occurs at C1 position. Carefully see this represented structures to understand the reaction. Now, I will explain the sugar derivatives and the first family of sugar derivative is amino sugars. The image represented below, represents three amino sugars, namely, beta-D-glucosamine, beta-D-galactosamine, and muramic acid. Amino sugars, including D-glucosamine and D-galactosamine, as shown here, contain an amino group, instead of a hydroxyl group, at the C2 position. The tick marks in the image represents the amino group present at C2 position for all the three amino sugars. These amino sugars are found in many oligo and polysaccharides, including chitin, a polysaccharide in the exoskeletons of crustaceans and insects. Now, the following image shows the structure of amino sugar, and acetyl d neuramic acid which is also known as sialic acid. The structure of sialic acid on the left is represented using Hayworth projection, whereas on the right, sialic acid is represented using Fischer projection formula. Muramic acid and neuraminic acid are components of the polysaccharides of cell membranes of higher organisms and also bacterial cell walls. The N-acetyl and N-glycosyl derivatives of neuraminic acid are collectively known as sialic acids and are distributed widely in bacterial and animal systems. In the structures of sialic acid, amino group is represented using red tick mark. Now, I will explain second type of sugar derivative, that is deoxy sugars. The deoxy sugars are monosaccharides with one or more hydroxyl groups replaced by hydrogens. 2-deoxy-D-ribose whose systematic name is 2-deoxy-D-erythropentose, is a constituent of DNA in all living things. Deoxy sugars also occur frequently in glycoproteins and polysaccharides. L-fucose and L-ramnose, 
both 6-deoxy sugars, are components of some cell walls, and rhamnose is a component of wabain, a highly toxic cardiac glycoside found in the bark and root of the wabayo tree. Wabayan is used by the East African Somalis as an arrow poison. The sugar moiety is not the toxic part of the molecule. The few deoxy sugars are represented here, they are, 2-deoxy-alpha-D-ribose, alpha-L-Romnose, and abha-L-Fucose. It is essential to remember that all the sugar deoxy sugars do not possess the ideal structural formula of carbohydrates that is C. H2O-N. Abbreviations for common monosaccharides and, some of their derivatives is shown here. References used to prepare this video are given here. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe below. Thank you for watching my video. This video is prepared by Dr. Dwaypayan Goswami.